Don't make me do it. A little radical multiplication. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and look at three examples. First, a monomial on a binomial, and then a binomial on a binomial, and then a special product. Oh boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do it, do it. A monomial on a binomial. It goes just like you think it goes. It goes, it goes, it goes. Uh huh. That's the square root of two times x plus the square root of two times the square root of seven. Oh boy. Here I see, here I see, here I see. I can um, use the commutative property and that's x root of two plus the square root of 14 because the root of the product is the product of the roots. And then what? And remember on these we were multiplying stuff out. Jeez, these blue markers are great. I'm coming up here to this next one. Here we got a little binomial on binomial action, and we know how to multiply those out. Yes, we're gonna first enter out or last them. And we go ahead and we do that. So I take my first. Yes, root two times root two, that's root four, which is two. Oh, then the outers. Oh, plus root two times root five. The root of the product is the product of the roots. Why don't we call it the square root of 10? Because two times five is 10. Then we take the inner. Okay, this is plus 14. Oop. Square root of 14, because we take seven times two. Because the root of the product is the product of the roots. The yellow marker's horrible. And then the last. So we first outer, inner, last. And then on the last one, that's the square root of, what's seven times five? 35, okay. 35. Squeaky. Maybe we just need to break it in. Yeah, five. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a blob. Oh no, it's a blob. Yes, now I need to go through and I need to check and see if I have any like radicals. Can I simplify the root of 10? No. Can I simplify the root of 14? No. Can I simplify the root of 35? Still no. So then, oh. I'm really gonna have to work on this one. Let's work on that one. Yes. Oh wait, that appears to be a special product. Special. Yeah, if I had, if I had, let's go blue. Yeah, A plus B, A minus B. I would see that every single time that multiplied out to be A squared minus B squared. It's squared. The difference of squares. Yes. Here I do indeed have that scenario. So here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. I have, I have, I have um, the square root of two squared minus x squared every single time. Because I'm using that special product. Yeah, what's the square root of two squared? That's root two times root two, which is gonna give me root four, which is two. Oh, minus x squared. And then what? You know. I do need to make mention that this last property you've seen, where we had the special product like that, ooh, that's neat, where we had the special product like that, that's called the conjugate. Yes, the conjugate, where we multiply it by the binomial with the opposite sign in the middle. That's the conjugate. And it gets you that special property. Uh, that being said, uh, uh.